download and install reimage plus and scan your computer for the issues if files are found to be corrupt and missing repair them and then check if it fixes the issue scan the computer and press on start repair as a first solution we'll uh, be using the hidden administrator account even though you are probably the one user of the PC and even if you are confident that you have administrator permissions you will still need to use an alternative alternate administrator account to install a program so let's type command prompt in the search bar right click on command prompt and select run as administrator click on yes for the USC prompt in here we need to type net space user space administrator space forward slash active colon yes once it is done we need to sign out from the current session click on start menu choose your account and click on sign out once you are logged out click on administrator account click on sign in and wait for a couple of minutes to get your session to prepare your profile let's pause the video here okay so once you are logged in uh, locate the file that you want to install and install it uh, try to install it um, you should be able to install it without any problems once you have installed the program uh, sign out from this account click on sign out now log in back with your original account once you are logged in we need to disable this hidden administrator account so let's search for command prompt again and right click on command prompt from the search results and select run and administrator click on yes for the USC prompt now type net space user space administrator space forward slash active in colon no this will disable the hidden administrator account if you're not able to resolve the issue using this solution we have another one which is to disable Windows smart screen Windows Smart Screen is a built-in component in all Windows operating systems starting from Windows 8. It serves to protect your computer, however it may prevent certain executable files from opening at all in order to protect you. That is why you'll need to disable it or work around it in order to install some applications. So you'll need to locate the file that you want to run or install and then right click on it. To show you an example, let's say we have this file, right click on it and select properties. In the section below attributes, you will see security alert here. The security will say that this file came from another computer and might be blocked to help protect this computer and you will see a checkbox here saying you will see an unblock option here put a check mark on unblock and click on apply and then ok as an example here's a file 
again you see there's a security alert here which says this file came from another computer so we 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 put a check mark on unblock click on apply you see the option is gone here the message and we'll click on OK once done double click on the file and try to run it and see if that worked and if the issue persists you might want to consider disabling Windows Master in briefly in order to run the file we can re-enable it once we are done with installation let's search for Windows Defender Security Center open it expand the menu from the left side and from here we need to open app and browser control we need to locate check apps and files and we are gonna turn it off click on yes for the USB prompt once done try running the file and see if that works once you are finished with the installation or running the file make sure that you re-enable it and then you'll be good to go the third solution is to run the file via com command prompt locate the file let's say the file is this one click on properties copy the location of this file search for the command prompt run as administrator click on yes for the USB prompt now we need to paste the location here let's say add it and paste let me recopy it and at the end we type the file name which is in our case as an example we have AMD cleanup utility and we put dot exe here press enter and see it runs or not I I hope this video will be helpful for you. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe our channel.